Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how to develop forecasting models in Tableau. Forecasting models often use the data occurred in the past to predict the future. A lot of companies use forecasting models to generate the expected volume of sales, revenue and profit to help the business accurately plan for resources and costs needed to achieve the optimal return in investment. There are different ways you can use to generate forecasts in Tableau. One is the basic approach, which has been available as part of the Tableau analytics function. The other one is a more complex approach. It will require to leverage additional forecasting tools such as R or Python to fit the model. In this video, I will focus on the basic forecasting package provided by Tableau. Let's go ahead and get started. In Tableau, you can view the forecasting option from the analysis section in the top menu bar. Go to the top menu bar and click analysis. Hover your mouse around forecast from the analysis dropdown. You will see a few options available. Click forecast options. Tableau has a few forecasting modeling choices. These parameters include time period, trend, and seasonality. You can tweak and choose a combination of different parameters to use in the forecasting model. You can also choose to show the predicted confidence intervals of your forecasting results. Once you fit the model, you can also use Describe Forecast to view the summary of your fitted model and check the quality of your forecasts. So now let me show you how to build the forecasting model in Tableau. To prepare your dataset for forecasting, you will need to have a time series data. It means your data needs to have a time dimension, organized either by day, week, month, or year, etc. In this example, I want to predict the total revenue for the near future using the revenue generated from January to July in 2020. First, drag and drop the date field from your dataset to the columns section. Change the format of this metric to show the date value. Then drop the revenue metric from measures to the rows section. Go to the marks card and change to use line graph. Then add the revenue amount to label under marks. Click the analytics pane next to data. Go to the model section and select forecast. Drag the symbol to the chart area. You will see the additional line has been added to your line graph with the estimated revenue amount from the default model in Tableau. You can now go to the forecast model and adjust the default model settings. For example, I want to change the automatic forecast period to one month. The data is currently aggregated by days, which is fine, but I do not want to ignore the last one day of data. In the modeling section, I do not want Tableau to automatically fit the model for me. I want to do custom model fitting. I want to use multiplicative trend and seasonality components for my model. Last but not least, I want to continue to show the confidence intervals of my forecast but I want to change the level to use 90% rather than 95%. Once done, click OK. After you fit the forecasting model, you can view the model statistics. Go to Describe Forecast. Under the model summary, you will see that the overall fitness of this model is poor. Click Models next to the Summary tab there are a few parameters which are measures to show the overall quality of this model. For example, the model currently has relatively high root mean squared error and MAPE. It means there is a pretty good chance that this model will generate an inaccurate prediction of the revenue amount. You will need to further tweak the model parameters to minimize the predicted error in order to improve the overall accuracy of the forecast. In addition to create a line graph, 
you can show your forecasting results in the table view. For example, I have created a table to show both actuals as well as my forecasted metrics. You can also add the forecast indicator to tell the audience which values in the table are the actuals versus the estimated numbers. You can also generate the forecast for more than one metric. Here, I have created my forecasts for the total revenue and also acquisition volume for the next 30 days. All right, I hope this video is helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.